Here is the teardown inspection of the transmission out of my Focus, the blue Focus, $500 Focus here. This isn't meant to be a tutorial, it's just meant to be entertainment to tear the transmission down and look at the clutch. I do have other videos for tutorials. But yeah, this is one of the crustiest clutches I've seen here. Wow. <laughs> Oops. Here's the other one. Looks good in there. Let me get that. That's supposed to slide right up here. <laughs> Crusty Wusty. I'm going to whack that gear with the hammer here. Dude, this is the worst one I've seen. I've I had to hit it with a 36 millimeter socket and that kind of nudged it loose a little bit, but it's still stuck. Never seen this happen. And I never saw a clutch actuator get stuck on there like that too. This is bad. Okay. There is water on top of this inner seal here. Oh, great. So I whacked it with a hammer and a 36 millimeter socket and eventually bounced up a little bit after I sprayed penetrating oil on it. And then I was able to work a screwdriver under it and pop it out. Snap ring pliers, snap ring. Remove that and throw it away, it's one time use. Squeeze it out and flick it like that. It is out. Okay, I've fastened my clutch remover and installer and handle assembly here onto the clutch with two clutch nuts. I've got a video on how to make one of these. So I'm going to get a pry bar on each side and pull up. Give the pry bars a good jolt and it'll look like this. And just pull straight up and set it aside. Oh, yummy. <laughs> wow. Look at the gap between the two Z washers. This clutch is stuck applied up here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's not supposed to be that high. I think the fork's stuck. Yeah, it's the fork. Wow. <laughs> All that gummy varnish on there from the water. The bearings actually feel okay, believe it or not. <laughs> Obviously, I wouldn't reuse this ugly thing, but uh, it actually is functional at the moment. Z washers. Hold on. Now there's evidence of blue grease leaking out on it, so it's no good. Torx 45. And do zigzags. And that's all you need. I do not own that song. E10 socket, E10, E10 socket, and do zigzags. Okay, I'll, I'm going to stop with that. Alrighty, Let's see if these clutch forks will come out. <laughs> Let's get these out of here and throw them in the trash. Okay. Okay, and the dowel pin stayed in there. Amazing. This is the problem, child. This is what caused the issue, and yeah, it's it's not moving. It's locked up. <laughs> that dowel pin stayed in as well. Ew. Here's sort of the inner workings of a clutch fork here. It has a rod with threads on it, and it goes into here. There's the boot. 
And I'll give it one thing, it's got balls. I mean, look at that. Looks like it just kind of worms in there with the, with the uh, bearings. And that's how that works. And there's little rollers here with bearings in them as well. This is locked up. And obviously these, this is bad too. I removed the three Torx 30 screws holding the bearing support in. Of course that's going to be stuck. <laughs> okay, I got a little sledgehammer here. That should be enough. Let's see. Yeah. It's got the original black seals in it. Those are terrible about leaking. And surprisingly, it looks like this might clean up here. But I might have a better one, a spare part laying around. Okay, that covers it. If you need more better tutorial on how to do this, check my playlist for focus transmission videos. If you need to know how to replace these seals, I have a video for that as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.